round. We said he was looking for those big body shots, and my goodness me, when they landed, didn't this fella feel them? Yeah, and he's done it right, he's done it correctly, he's done it behind his jab, he's worked off his jab, he's been patient, and then he switched the attack downstairs, left up to the body. You know, he hasn't just gone for the body shot, he's worked off his jab. But uh, that was one that just missed the target. But uh, in general terms, good work from Macronelli. There's that shot. Oh, John, what a super punch that I'll tell was. Tell you what, that didn't miss the target. That no. was absolutely what he'd been looking for, and it was precisely where he wanted it. Believe me, this could be all over. Oh, it's moving on to a lot. incidentally, between rounds there, didn't sit down. Whether that's uh, a normal trait or whether it's uh, a result of that punch, I suspect it may have been just to ease the pain from that left hook from Macronelli, which really detonated. Remember next week, David Hay fighting Jean-Marc Mormack for the WBC Cruiserweight title. And Macronelli told me that while he's going to go over there and kind of wants to see the British winner, wants to see Hay do well, from a purely personal and selfish point of view, he'd quite like to see Mormack wins because he think Mormack would be more likely to face him and want to face him than Hay, who he suspects might take that Cruiserweight title and then disappear up towards the heavyweight division. And that's the fight that everyone wants to see, John, isn't it? You know, uh, Macronelli and Hay, domestically the biggest clash for a world title. As now he's moaning that that left hook there had gone around the back and was an illegal shot, but the referee certainly didn't think so. As now he's had a little bit of success in, in this round, he's uh, actually put Macronelli now and again on the back foot and double up his jab, followed with the right hand. He's, had a, he's, he's got home with a few shots here. He still looks clear-eyed and very much in this fight. Looking across to our commentary position, I wonder if you can hear what we're saying. I suspect not with this enormous crowd here in the Millennium Stadium. The roof closed, of course, tonight. And if Macronelli lands another bomb, oh, that was only just a whisker away. If he lands one of these bombs, you'll hear the roar go up. Good shot. Good left hook to the body. So the luminaries of the boxing scene in Europe on the far side of the ring there. I can see Klaus Peter Cole, the German promoter, sitting uh, just behind Frank Warren. Now they're trying to tee off the right hook, Macronelli. Oh, lovely boxing there from Macronelli, just took a backward step. Made his man fall short and then come back with a long left hook. Good boxing. Yeah, decent snapping shot. Good, good speed. Good reactions. Economy of effort. Oh, and good, good work. That slipped under that attempted overhand right. Then the shot to the body, and then followed up by one, two, three jabs. And suddenly Azawi looking just a little bit disorganised. Really good quality left hand lead that one. Yeah, he's really impressing me tonight here, Macronelli, working mostly behind that jab, crisp and sharp, and it's a powerful punch as well. John is tiring uh, Azawi out here. Oh, a little left uppercut there, wasn't too far away. He's taken on where he left off against Braithwaite. Quality work. Once again, Mohamed Azawi standing up in his corner. Anthony Abraham, the man toweling him down. Well, he must be confident in his fitness, but uh, I'd have him sitting down. He's took a couple of big body shots and he's looking to get, he's getting quite tired. I've actually returned some, some blows here. Look at that left hook there, that was all. That, that hurt him as well, John, you know. He did. He, he, he very visibly uh, walked back there. Just coming up from a different angle, bang, there it is. George Foreman used to stand up, you know, in his uh, in his older days when the old body was creaking a bit. Partly maybe as a, partly maybe as a psychological ploy to say, well, I'm feeling pretty good. Into the fourth round, 
and Ritchie has scored all three so far to the champion Enzo Macronelli. A three-point advantage to the champion if the judges are scoring it as we do. Two American judges and one the old British referee Roy Francis, one of the characters of the British game. Good referee in his day, what Roy was. Real no-nonsense sort of character. Remember, Roy refereed the third. Is Francis fight? Oh, he's gone down. He's gone down, and the left hand was what did it. And I don't think he's going to get up. This fight is going to be all over here in this round. It is. It's finished. He's complaining. His back has gone. And now he's complaining to the referee that there was an illegal punch. But no matter. The fight is all over in the fourth round. And Enzo Macronelli, about a minute into that fourth round, has taken his man out, and he was simply too powerful, too fresh, and it's going to take one heck of a fight to stop him. He is right at the peak of his powers, Enzo Macronelli, and tonight, for me, he never remotely looked like losing. Really, really impressive. Yeah, he was very powerful tonight. We'll have to look at the monitor again and see if it was an illegal shot, but, you know... <laughs> It was coming, wasn't it, John? You know, this guy, he was wearing him down, he was casting him to the body with big shots, he was working well with the jab, Macronelli. I think it just delayed, you know, it was just... Well, there's the shot to the, the head, there it is, and look. then the left hand comes in. Now, was that fair or not? You were the referee? I think he was, he was on the blind side of the referee anyway, John, wasn't it? You know, and the guy just didn't get up after ten. He's out, no question. But he it just speeded up the inevitable, what was going to happen here, John, you know? Caught him with the headshot there, now he turns, and bang! That wasn't on the back. Well, I don't think that's an illegal shot, I no. think that's fair enough. I think that was coming, and you could see, really, from the first moment that, Cowles, uh, that uh, Macronelli was able to open up with those big left hooks to the body, that, it, that there was only one result, and, and uh, that was not a full-on blow either, that was a glancing blow, Richie. It was, and it wasn't an illegal blow, it was on the side, but uh, he didn't fancy it, did he? He felt Macronelli's p power all through this contest, and he didn't fancy it. The end comes at 58 seconds of round and number four, as referee Dave Paris reaches the count of ten, the winner by knockout victory from Swansea, where?